Now, since I've been doing the kayak fishing videos, many people have asked me about the kayak fishing tackle that I use and the rod and the reels. So I'm going to go through those rod and, rod and reels and in particular talk about the why and the when that I would use for them and the, and the sort of species that I would be looking to catch. I've got three different types of rods. And the first is this rod, which is basically a lure rod, a spinning rod. It's eight foot long. Now, for me, eight foot is the absolute maximum that I want to, to use. Anything longer than that, I would find just too, just too awkward, particularly when you're playing a fish close to the kayak. So all of the rods that I'm going to talk about are eight foot or, or under. So lure rod, and it's a 10 to 36 gram which covers most of the situations that I want to use it. I also use this for my lure fishing from the shore. And on the rod, I've got a 4,000 size lure reel and it's loaded with 15 pound braid. It's usually 15 to 20 pound braid is, is usually what I, I end up putting on this reel. And then joined to the end of the braid, I've got a rubbing leader and it's about three foot of 15 pound fluorocarbon. Usually uh, I use around about 15 to 20 pound for most of the fishing, but there are occasions if I'm particularly uh, fishing over a particularly rough ground, then I might up that to, to 30 pound, but generally speaking, 15 to 20 pound. Now what this is used for is all of the lure fishing that I do from the kite that involves casting the lures. Now that would be mainly when I'm after bass. So, so I'm drifting over a reef, a shallow reef, and casting out the lures and then retrieving them back to the kayak. But also, I would mainly, maybe use this for mackerel if I wanted a bit of fun with mackerel as I'm drifting along, casting out a spinner and retrieving it back to, to catch mackerel singly. Now, the other time that I might use this rod is when I'm trolling. And again, it would be mainly after mainly after bass, but occasionally mackerel. So trolling, trolling along and what I would do is cast the, the plug or the soft plastic out, let out some slack so, so there's enough line out so the, the, the lure is, is, is about at least sort of 60 yards behind the kayak, pop it in the rod holder and then paddle along until I get a bite. So that's, that's the first rod, the eight foot lure rod. Next, I've got this type of rod, and it's called a bait casting rod. And I've actually got four of these. I find them so good that I've got four of them. So I've got two like this. This one's six foot six, rated between 15 and 45 grams. And the two that are eight foot are also rated between 15 and 45 grams, which is more than enough for the, the lures that I tend to use, and, and although they're rated 45 grams, they will handle 60 grams, no problem at all. Got a little bait casting reel on there, and that's loaded with, again, it's usually between 15 and 20 pound braid. But on these rods, I've got a leader, which is usually a little bit more than twice the length of the rod. But again, it's used as a rubbing leader, not a casting leader. And the, the test of the leader that I use on this setup usually ranges between 15 pound and 30 pound. Uh, if, I need, if I'm fishing over very rough ground, then I might up it to 30 pound. Now these rods are mainly made for casting because hence they're known as bait casters. And you see these used a lot in the US, in the States, where they're, they're, they're casting, they're, they're great because you can cast a lure one-handed. But what I use them for, what I find them absolutely fantastic for on the kayak is light vertical jigging. So for example, let's say I'm drifting over a reef, maybe, or the edge of a reef, maybe after pollock and cod. I just can hold this rod absolutely ultra light and comfortable. If you notice there, they've got this trigger, this trigger finger they call it, and it's so comfortable just to 
have your fin finger wrapped around that and then your thumb on the reel. So you're drifting along and you just, you got this, just depress, depress that there to release the line, lower it down the bottom, just engage it and then either retrieve it slowly up from the bottom to about mid water if you're after Pollock or work it close to the bottom uh, if you're after things like cod or, or ras. But also I'll use this if over clean ground if I'm lure fishing, maybe if I've got a, a small lure on a jig, work it down the bottom, maybe pick up things like gurnard or, or whiting or mackerel or have some squid jigs on it. This has actually been used last for squid fishing, some squid jigs on it and, and use it working the squid jigs. Or a jig or a string of sabikis, a string of feathers and work through the depths of things like mackerel. So it's, it's got um, a lot of uses. And any of you that have watched my kayak, my kayak fishing videos will have seen me use this type of setup a lot on the videos. Now, I'm right-handed, but this is a left-handed, left-hand wine reel. And the reason I got, I've gone for a left-hand wine is because my right hand and arm is the strongest, so I can just hold this rod like that, so comfortable, it's propped up against the under, under my arm there, got, as I say, got that trigger there, hold it like that with my thumb on the reel, so comfortable in my stronger hand and can, I can work it with my stronger hand. So that's why I go for a left hand wind reel. So abs these rods is absolutely brilliant. Now, even though they I say light vertical jigging that I use it for, they will handle some really good sized fish. I've had some really good sized pollock on this and I've had some cod well over 10 pound. Unfortunately, not on film yet, but hopefully in the future. And I must admit, with the little reel and, and the, the light rod, um, it can be a lot of, take you a lot of time to get, get uh, a decent sized fish up, up from, let's say if you're fishing in 70, 80 foot of water. But what a huge amount of fun. Now, although I mainly use these for, as I say, just vertical jigging, on the vertical lure work on the kayak, they can also be used for light bait work. Maybe if you're, if you're just uh, maybe fishing with light leads uh, down on the bottom with a bit of bait after, after flatties uh, or whatever. They can also be used for that as well. Now, any, anyone who's looking to go into kayak fishing, who wants to fish vertically with lures for mackerel or, or whatever, I cannot recommend this sort of setup enough. So easy to carry on the kayak, so light to use, and they really are a huge amount of fun. Now, many people have asked me when they watch the videos, what's that bit of foam you have wrapped around your rod? Well, basically what it is, it's known as a rod floater. And these are, these particular ones are called Blakemore rod floaters. Now, as far as I'm aware, you still you cannot get these in the, in the UK. Unfortunately, I had to order them from from the US. I don't know if that these are still available, but this is the eight inch version. I think they do six inch and eight eight inch. So this is the eight inch. Now the reason that I use these is because it cuts down on leashes. The idea is that if this goes overboard, I drop it overboard, it gets knocked overboard, then it's got this float on it, and the idea is that it will float, and then hopefully I'll be able to retrieve it. Now I find that so much better than having, uh, having a rod leashed and having these leashes. Now, there's no doubt about it, a leashed rod on a kayak is obviously the most secure way of doing it. But to me, I just don't, the least lines and things you've got all over the place, the better. So that's, that's why I went for these, these rod floaters. And I, I must admit, I, I haven't been unlucky yet that a rod, rod go over, but I have, I have tested these. Now, obviously there's a, there's a limit to the weight that they will keep, keep a rod on a reel afloat. 
So you've got to bear in mind that. But yeah, that's what they are. For those of you that have been curious to know what's that lump of foam you've got wrapped around your rod, that's what it is. It's known as a rod floater. The last type of rod I use is this rod. And I, again, I've got two of these. And it's a seven foot six boat rod, which is rated between 12 and 20 pound. And on that is a six and a half thousand C multiplier, which has got 30 pound braid. And then joined to the end of the braid is a rubbing leader, which is a little bit more than twice the length of the rod. And that's usually between 30 and 40 pound. Now what I mainly use these rods for is when I'm bait fishing on the bottom. So for example, let's say I'm fishing at anchor, I've dropped the anchor and maybe fishing in uh, fairly deep water. Usually fish a running ledger, fishing with various diff different types of baits, maybe worm, uh, could be sand eel, could be mackerel, could, could, could be squid. Uh, lowering down the bottom, one rod e each side of the kayak, hoping for species, let's say like thornback rays, dogfish, bull husks, cod, uh, whiting, and just about any species that will take a bait off the bottom. The other time that I might use these, uh, you've probably seen me use these, is maybe if I'm drifting. I'm drifting over clean ground, again bait fishing, using running ledges. Again, one rod each side of the kayak, drifting backwards. Let the, let, the, let the bait down to the bottom, let out lots of slack. So the lines are running well away from the kayak. Drifting along and maybe fishing for species like place. Or again, other species. Any, lots of other species will take baits on the drift. Dogfish, uh, bullhouse will take on the drift. Rays, cod. Uh, white in, but mainly that type of fishing is usually when I'm after the flatties, place, uh, turbot, brill if I'm lucky. But the other thing, uh, bait fishing, if I'm, let's say I'm fishing anchoring shallower water, then you can, uh, where you really, it's too shallow to probably drop the, drop the bait dr vertically down the bottom. So, You'd cast it, either cast it out, cast it down tide, or if you you got a grip lead on, you can cast it sideways, cast it up tide, uh, and fish and fish that way. Lastly, um, I've only done it a couple of times, but occasionally I might actually use this for the heavier vertical jigging. So, for example, if I've got situations where with the lighter rods, the little bait casting rods, uh, can't cope, and maybe I need a heavier lure, there's a strong current, deep water and a strong current, and maybe I need to use, say, lures up to, say, around about 100 grams that they won't handle, then I'll use these lures for the heavier vertical jigging. So basically that's it, boat rods, 12 to 20 pound, mainly used for the heavier work, the bait fishing on the bottom, drifting with bait, or any heavier lure work, work that I need, need to do. So that's the rods and reels that I use, which covers me for most of the situations that I fish in. That's, what, that's the, sort of, the sort of rods that I've used basically since I started kayak fishing and, and have found that they work really well for the type of fishing that I do. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.